In the early morning hours at Edinburgh University, head wrestling coach Tim Flynn can be found at his desk. Fundraising and recruiting is a year-round job, even in the early season. Today we signed some letters to get out for fundraising and uh, uh, the day before, you know, I watched a lot of film with some high school kids, so there's always something I think that can keep you busy. This year's edition of the Fighting Scots wrestling team will arrive for practice at 6.30 a.m. The winning as Ted Coach in Edinburgh Wrestling History keeps photos with his former national champions and All-Americans posted throughout his office. Mark Samples, he, he's doing really well now. And that's starting to add up. Each of his 18 years has included at least one All-American, three national champions in total. We're building something here and, and there's, you know, we're starting to get some tradition and that, that can only be you know, done over time. Lacing up this year after the best finish in program history yet again, one of the top wrestling teams in the nation. However, only one of last year's four All-Americans returns. 12 seconds from being in the finals, you know, um, tried to reverse the guy. Redshirt senior and 2014 All-American Vic Avery enters the 2015 season with a chip on his shoulder. A fourth place finish at the national championships last year has left him hungry. However, a meniscus injury will leave him sidelined until at least mid-December and waiting to pick up that headgear and prove that he deserves a higher preseason ranking than third in the nation and avenge his last second loss to Cornell's Gabe Dean in last year's national championship tournament. He kind of took my national title from me. That's the way I look at it. He already has his, you know, Gabe Dean of Cornell has his, and now I want it back. On the other hand of the roster is a familiar face in District 10, Sager Town alum Tyler Vath enters his freshman year just another rookie looking to make a name for himself, but one that is bought in to Coach Flynn's coaching style. And they leave it up to you to make sure that you're the one who wants to put in the work. They uh, they let they give you the option. The All-American and championship history is literally written into the walls at Edinburgh University, and although the enrollment of some of their rival schools is nearly eight times that of their own. The Fighting Scots remain a national championship contender. You find kids who are looking for a little bit smaller atmosphere, maybe a little more like a family type town, which we have. And uh, I, I think we get the hardest working kids in the country, you know, regardless of school, regardless of division. At Edinburgh University, Brandon Arroyo, Erie Sports Now.